Well, hello there, pretty ladies. Today, we are gonna tackle one of the areas in our lives that gets the most chaotic, and that is the kitchen. And I'm woman enough to admit that occasionally I will go to bed and leave the mess. That's right, I do occasionally let those dishes sit, let the counters be nasty. That is what happened last night. And so today I'm gonna bring you along and show you exactly how it is that I kinda do a recovery clean, just getting things reset really quickly from the boo-boo, the mess up, the whoops, I forgot and fell asleep, which is what happened to me. So buckle up, baby. We're going to get going in just a second. Don't forget, this is a clean as we go. So whatever we're talking about, I want you to be working on as well. All right. Let's go. So normally I would say start with loading up the dirty dishes into your dishwasher. The problem is yesterday I did not unload my clean dishes. Um, it just didn't happen. So I'm just here fully admitting that I'm not perfect. You are not perfect, no one is. But when you have a day like this, just get in there and get started. Don't overthink things. I think that is where we get into analysis paralysis, where we're just so overwhelmed by all the messes in all the areas instead of focusing on the one that we really need to tackle. But the really big part of this whole thing is just to catch back up. It's Monday, it's Weekly Home Blessing Day, I may or may not get it done today and that's absolutely fine because I need to deal with immediate problems first and then we'll see what we need to do for the rest of the day. So it's been about a minute. I just want to check in really quickly. How is your energy right now? Are you slowing down or are you picking up the pace? How are you feeling in this moment? Is there something that you need to kind of let go of? Are you frustrated? Are you mad? Are you just not feeling it today? Take a big breath, just breathe in really quickly because I know the power of a nice solid breath. So breathing in, we're gonna breathe in all positivity. We're gonna bring in joy and love into our lives and we're gonna breathe out and let go of whatever darkness is in us, whatever frustration that's holding on to us. Just breathe in the goodness and let go of all the badness. Father, we pray that these ladies will feel the instant uplifting of their spirits and let them stay focused as we continue to get this done. You are doing great. We're almost done with this. We're about ready to switch things up. differently and one of the little idiosyncrasies that he had that I have never heard of is to put your knives in your butcher block upside down. He has a really good rationale for this and I thought I would share. So when you put the knives in going the normal way, which is the sharp edge down, it actually dulls the knife over time because it's constantly rubbing against the wood in the block. But if you store them upside down, then when you pull them out, you're not dulling the sharp blade and that makes it last a lot longer. about everything unloaded and now I'm gonna be loading things into my dishwasher now I always like to start with like the basics the the plates the cups things like that that I just rinse really quickly you do not have to pre-wash in today's dishwashers they do a really excellent job of getting things done so I just rinse them with hot water usually that is more than enough to get things off and if for some reason something goes all the way through the cycle and doesn't get off then I use my Dawn Power Shot and a scrubber and I just hand wash it after they run. So hopefully that helps. Let's get moving. We're almost finished with this section. I really 
hate dealing with dirty dishes, especially dishes that have been sitting in the stove with water in them. So that is a hard and fast rule for me. But I can't be mad at anybody else. A lot of this I actually left last night and so I'm just rolling up my sleeves and I'm gonna deal with it without complaint. But the music and the tunes are helping me get through this. So if you do not have it pumping, then go ahead and turn up the volume just a little bit and let's butt this out. sink emptied of all of those dirty dishes I always spend just a few minutes rinsing my sink out because I have a mat a rubber mat in the bottom and it collects all of that gross disgusting juices and stuff like that so I always take those out give it a good rinse and if I want to get fancy I'll even dry it so it looks super shiny but that is just like bonus points you definitely do not have to do that but every single time I walk into this kitchen, I go to my sink, I check to see if there's been any glasses or anything left out that I need to put in the dishwasher, and I make sure there's not any nastiness in the sink that I need to rinse out. This is now a mission for the rest of the day to keep the sink looking this good.
clear and things are looking pretty decent, now is the time to go ahead and grab a multi-purpose cleaner and let's go ahead and give the surfaces a quick wipe. Now, I'm not pulling everything away from the walls and deep cleaning. That all happens during zone cleaning. This is just a quick recovery clean for when you've got an extra messy area that you maybe went to sleep and forgot to take care of. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use a multi-purpose spray, spray it all down, a nice scrubby towel. I like these hand towels because they have like a rough side and then a soft side, so it helps me with any dried on, grimy, nasty stuff. But we're gonna get the sink, the counters, you know, anything, the table, if your kitchen table, you've got that cleared off, wipe it down, get all the crumbs, take care of all of it right now so that it's looking a lot better already. We are only in a few minutes and we are already seeing major changes in my kitchen at least. How are you doing? surfaces down don't forget to take a look at your stove a lot of times when you're cooking you've got a few little splatters a few little pieces of you know broccoli that fell out of the pan while you're cooking last night this is a great time to just wipe it all down if you need to a spray of just a quick shot of easy off oven cleaner will get any discoloration off of the eyes and off of the burners and things like that so that it looks really good. I will spray that and then clean the rest around it and then come back and just wipe it. It usually comes right up. If you address your stove fairly quickly, you don't let things get cooked on over and over and over again, these stains come up really easily. But let me tell you, our last stove, I think people had cooked on it so much that they had never cleaned the eyes and I scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed and it never can clean. So go ahead and spend the extra two seconds to spray that and leave it. And then when we get done with wiping everything else down, come back and wipe that and do that every time you clean on your stove. Because if you're cooking on your stove, you're gonna need to make sure that you handle that situation before it gets significantly harder. Next, I always like to just check the floors because sometimes you'll have bags and jackets and backpacks and all the things that get kind of dropped, especially at that corner right over there where we kind of do our catch-all. So pick up anything that's kind of been laying out. If you've got Amazon boxes, if you've got you know paper clutter, anything that's laying out, let's go ahead and tackle that. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and address that countertop. Again, this is my hot spot in this area. This counter right here is where all the mail comes, all the Amazon boxes comes, where the bags come, the purses come, all the things just collect here. And if I don't stay on top of this spot, it will get overwhelming. This is two days worth of clutter because I have not been home to take care of this. Two days and it's this bad. Can you imagine how bad it would be if I did not address it for like a week? These things, they compound, they add up, they just get deeper and bigger and harder to take care of. And that is why I really think a two minute 
hot spot fire drill is what Fly Lady calls it. But while I'm cooking dinner, if I've got a pot on that I'm waiting to boil, I'll hop over there and I'll just go through the mail, get rid of things that are trash, get rid of old receipts, put things away and just reset it very quickly. Two minutes usually is plenty of time to just stay on top of that. And you can find two minutes all throughout your day to do these little things. Someone told me it's a bit like picking up breadcrumbs. If you do a little bit here and there, those breadcrumbs will actually add up to significant improvements in your house. But you have to have your eyes open to see these little opportunities. For example, when I am brushing my teeth, I usually will go ahead and wipe my counter down, and then when I spit everything out, I will rinse the sink. It doesn't add any time to my getting ready, but it keeps that area significantly cleaner than the way my husband does it, which is to wash his face, swing all the water on his sink, splatter all the soap everywhere, and then walk away, and it dries on, and it always looks bad. So if you can get into the habits of just cleaning as you go, to be looking around to make sure that you can pick up things, it's gonna save you time, headaches, heartaches, frustration with your family. It's not fair, but it's so much easier to quit arguing about it, and just, if you see it, take care of it, especially if it's only gonna take like two minutes to fix, fix it, be done with it, and let that bad juju go. So on a quick recovery clean like this, I usually don't worry about sweeping and mopping the floors, but if you did a lot of cooking and you've got a lot of crumbs right here underneath the stove and the prep area, go get your Roomba and just turn it on and let it do the work while you finish doing other things around the house. Work smarter and not harder. Again, this is not a deep clean. This is just a reset and already this kitchen looks significantly better than it did when we got started just a few minutes ago. How are you feeling? Are you patting yourself on the back? Because, hun, you should be. You are a rock star, and even rock stars get a day off occasionally. So if you had a little bit of a mess this morning and you're kind of feeling bad about it, just let that go. Don't hold on to that negative, stinking thinking. I want you to focus on the fact that you manage little babies, you manage household budgets, you manage cooking and cleaning and loving on your family, and all of that on top of any personal things that you do, any extra work things you do, you are a rock star and everybody deserves a pat on the back and to just breathe and realize that even the very most organized best laid plans, they get messed up because we live in this house. We clean in this house, we cook in this house, we take showers in this house. The house is never gonna stay perfect. That would be a museum. The house is meant to be lived in and we are just here helping to keep control over the total chaos that exists. All right, we are just about done. Lastly, just look around and see if there's any areas that you want to spend these last few minutes to finish up. Maybe you did not get finished with your dishes when I told you to stop. If you're still working on something, go ahead and get that finished really quickly. You've got a few more minutes. So that's it. That's just your rescue clean for your kitchen. If you had a bad day, you went to bed, you left it a mess, we just took care of it. It is looking really good. Remember, if you need a few extra minutes, take them. Don't be afraid to go beyond whatever time constraints I'm giving you. If you don't have enough time to finish, stop and then come back to it later. It's whatever works for you. The goal is to find something that fits in the life that you have and that works. So. As we go forward, just remember, I'm always thinking of you. I'm praying for you. I'm so proud of you. Good job, and we will see you next week. Bye. I love you so much. Let's pray. Father God, thank you. Thank you for this time that we can come together, that we can work and encourage and get things done around the house. Father, I just praise you and I thank you that you would go through this phone and you would touch them in a special way. Give them peace and joy. Father, I pray that you will just bring a light to their heart. That they will be filled with your joy and that as we work, we are enjoying the music. We are enjoying the fellowship and it doesn't feel like a burden. It feels like a blessing that we are able to be home and that we're able to take care of things so that our family will be well taken care of. Anyways, Father God, we thank you, we praise you, and I just pray that these ladies will come back next week so we can do it all again, have more fun, and grow together as a community. In Jesus' name, amen.